Uh, thanks for that, Dave. Um, before I start, Paul Bennett is going to hand out a harrowing photograph of two young Dutch workers working in windmills. And we recently have engaged with windmill workers in Great Britain, and they're showing us the dangers of windmills, the unreported fires. The picture that's in the photograph is pretty harrowing. If you look closely, you see two young workers standing at the end of the windmill before they fall to their death. So I'm just going to start. I'm Stevie Dillon for Unite the Union. Honoured to be speaking here today on International Workers Memorial Day. International Workers Memorial Day is a humbling deep and bittersweet day, and it's a day when I get angry. It's where workers around the world come together to remember colleagues and friends and family who have been killed, maimed or injured at work. And more importantly, today is when we renew our vows to continue to fight like hell to protect the living. The fact is that far too many workers are killed every year. Last year there was 142 workplace deaths. Each and every one of those deaths was a terrible tragedy where someone's loved one went to work and didn't come home that day. In construction, the most dangerous industry in the UK, there was 43 deaths. But it's not just about workplace deaths, as Dave says. Many more people die prematurely each year due to workplace illnesses. And last year, 2,515 workers died from mesothelioma, and each and every one of those deaths was entirely preventable. And the reason, this, the reason for this is that previous governments and rogue bosses only enforced a total ban in the year 2000. This week, United exposed the deliberate failure of this Conservative government to protect workers. Since 2010, the number of HSE inspectors has been cut by one quarter. On top of that, safety laws have been slashed. For example, vital inspections have been banned from many supposedly low-risk sectors. Union safety reps are now more important than ever. The HSE is set to have its budget halved by 2020. They can't keep workers safe. This means it's up to us. Yet 40 years after laws were introduced to allow the appointment of safety reps, safety reps are under attack. Under attack by employers who blacklisted safety reps within the construction industry. The only workers dedicated to keeping the industry safe. And yet, let's be clear in blacklisting, it still continues today. Over the past four months, five construction workers have died in Scotland. For too long, for too many years, we have been reliant on the health and safety executive and legislation to protect, protect workers, and that clearly is not good enough. It's not good enough for, farm, for one farm worker, 25-year-old Antonio de Silva, who died on the 15th of March this year in East Renfrewshire. It's not good enough for Connor Morgan, who died on the 19th of this month on a construction site in High Blindshire. And it's not good enough for him, his wife, or his three sons. This is why only yesterday, we, Unite Scotland, held a specially summoned meeting with all construction officers to work in a new, fresh approach in construction. The outcome will be a new strategic safety plan that will protect and empower workers in a new frontline campaign called Unite for Your Safety. A call for a safety summit, a call for safety reps on all sites, and a call to stop the killing of our brothers and sisters. Comrades, it's time to take stock, it's time to take action, and it's time to fight for you, your family, and your family's family. Thank you.